UDIMS and keep the texel density same per tile is a problem for you. I'm Matthew from 3D Redbox channel and today in this video we want to talk about how to keep the same texel density across multi-tiles in UV. So be with me in this video we are going to explore this. But before that let me introduce you the brand new course that we release for Substance Painter. Learning Substance Painter is easier than ever. Hey all Substance lovers, texture seekers and awesome future artists. Welcome to ultimate course for learning Substance Painter from zero to hero. Ready to learn how to texture with different projects? Substance Master released a brand new course for those who want to learn to texture with Substance Painter. In this course, we cover from preparing the model to rendering different projects, different challenges. If you want to level up your skill in texturing, come and check the Substance Master Ultimate course for learning Substance Painter. Okay, now we are here and we have this model and we want to texture this inside Substance Painter. But there is one problem here. This model is so big. It contains so many small pieces. And how we are going to manage the quality inside UV and the final texture, okay? And in here, the first solution is to pack all the UV island inside one UV tile. And let's do that and compare it to the other option that we have. Okay, let's copy this model and I'm going to rename it UV1. And for sending this model to the Rhizome UV, I use the bridge that's very easy and fast and you can use it in 3ds Max. And you can find the link of this script inside the description so let's put it on edit and click on send to rhizome uv and when we use the rhizome bridge it's automatically open the rhizome uv and import our model with the uv and now i'm going to pack this uv inside the rhizome and how we can achieve the best result inside the rhizome we just need to go to the packing properties and change accuracy to ultra and iteration to something like four or eight and after that we can set initial orientation to v and change orientation optimization to 90 and now i can go and click on pack and as you can see we have a perfect packing of uv inside one uv tie and for bring it back to 3ds max we just need to press ctrl s and now we have the model inside 3ds max okay and let's add some material to this model because we want to compare this with another option that we are going to create and for this purpose i just use a simple 1k texture and tile it four time because we want to represent the 4k texture okay so let's apply it to this model and this is the final quality that we are going to get from 4k texture on this model okay remember this pixelate issue that we have here and i'm going to copy this model again and rename it udims one and let's bring it to rhizome and we are in rhizome again and for increasing the quality when we want to use uh, something like uh, texturing in substance painter and create unique texture we need to extend our uv tile to two three or four or more okay and we call it this technique udims and in rhizome we can increase uv tile spaces with this window little window here and let's increase it to something like four and i'm going to change accuracy to ultra iteration four and initial orientation to v and 
orientation optimization to 90. And now I'm going to pack it again. And now we have four UV tile, as you can see. And let's save it and bring it back to 3ds Max. And let's give the same material to this model. And now you can see we have more quality on this texture. And the reason is we have more UV tile. It means we have more UV space. And when we have more UV space, we can increase the UV island size. So we have more pixel on each UV island. And it means we have better quality compared to one UV tile. Okay. But the problem here is when we increase our UV tile number, we may get different size of each UV island in different UV tile, okay? So, how we can solve this problem? And for solving this problem, we need to keep same texel density when we are going to pack all the UV island in UDIMS or multiple UV tile, okay? So, let me bring another version here and let's call it UDIMS2 and send it to Rhizome. Okay, now we are here in Rhizome and the packing properties, uh, it's same that we discussed before. And now I'm going to increase again the UDIMS to four tile and let's pack all the UV island across this tiles okay this is the final pack but it's not correct i just change it uh, for demonstration purpose uh, we don't get this kind of effect when we pack inside rhizome uv because we use initial scale keep average texel density option but in here i just want to show you what happened if we have different scale on each UV island and the translation of this matter is we have the lower quality here and higher quality in here and this is the problem okay and it happens all the time when we want to use UDIMS in complex object okay and how we are going to solve this for solving this issue, we need to understand how texel density works, but it's kind of complex matter. So let's keep it away and stick to the simple way that I'm going to show you. Okay. So we have map reds and texel density target option here. Okay. And for the map reds, we need to find out what is the final dimension that we are going to export, for example, from Substance Painter? Or even what, what is the size of the final texture that we are going to use in our material inside our project? Okay, and in here it's 4K. So let's put 4096 here. And if we are going to use 2K, let's put it 2048. And what about the texel density target? For this matter, let me show you easy way, okay? So let's pick biggest UV island that you have, okay? For example, this one. This is the biggest UV island that I have. And let's isolate it and just press unpack, okay? And select this and pick. Okay, as you can see, we have 43 texel density target here, okay? It means we have the quality near to 4K. And it's good, it's good. But what happened if I use this texel density target? Let's select all these. UV island and press rescale. And as you can see, 
maybe we need more than four tiles here. So let's give it eight. Okay. And now we need to change pixel density target to something like this. I just use the map res and divide it by 100 because I just use centimeter here. Okay. For modeling. And now it times to change some setting in packing properties. The first one is changing initial scale to pixel density. And after that, turn off scale optimization range from full to off. And now it's time to use pack action here. And let's wait and see what's happening. Okay, now after packing all the UV island in eight UV tile, as you can see, we have the great quality here, but we have some space here. And for solving this issue, we can go here and select some of the UV island and bring down the scale of them. So in this way, we can save some space for these icons and pack it up all the UV islands in seven UV tile. Okay, not eight, but it's okay for me right now. And let's save it and explore another option here. Okay, now we can understand how we can keep the same size or same pixel density when we want to pack all the UVI land with UDIMS method, okay? But this is the method based on pixel density. What happened if we have some limitation? For example, we can just use four UV tile. How we can keep the same size in four or three UV tile? Let's do that. Now I'm in the rhizome and we have three tile with the UDIMs and I just pack all the UV island with the same packing properties that we discussed before. And let's check the scale or texel density of each UV island inside each UV tile. And the map res here is 4K. So I need to change map res and just select this one and use this checker and the pixel density is 24 and for this one it's 24 but we have some small difference in the number after dot okay and this is 23 so we have the same pixel density almost the same but what happens if we want to keep the same pixel density when we want to have the three UDIMs? Okay, so we have 23 and 24. Okay, so let's pick 23 here and I just turn off the scale optimization range and change initial scale to pixel density and now when we click on the pack, the texel density of each UV island should be 23. And as you can see, we have 23 here, 23 here, and here. So in this way, we can keep the same texel density or same scale of UV islands in different UV tile. And for the last part, let me show you how we can check the pixel density quality inside Substance Painter. Okay, now we are in Substance Painter. And whenever we import something uh, like a complex model and we don't show the UV is okay and at the end we can get a good quality of that, we have a generator inside Substance Painter that we can use and check 
the quality of the UV. So in here, I just add generator on the paint layer, go to the generator and just use UV Texel density. And let's just keep the color and whenever we have the red color or something like red, it means we don't have enough quality inside the UV, okay? And for the green, it means it's okay and we can continue, but we couldn't use the lower size like 2K or 1K and we just need to export higher quality like 4K or 8K. And when we have the blue color, it means we are in a good position and we could use, for example, 2K as a final export and we get a good quality, okay? So in here, for this UV, we get the green color, okay? And now let's go, I'm going to copy this layer and let's go to the next model. And in the next model, we have eight UV tile. Okay, and let's copy that. And as you can see, we get the blue color here. So we are good and we can start our process and texture this model. And that's it. This is for this video. I hope you learned something new and I can answer your question because we have a lot of questions about the UV UDIMs and keep the same texel density across multi uh, tile and this kind of question. If you learn something new or like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe our channel. Be creative. Bye.